Hey, and I'm Ben Campbell, uh, and this is my Riptide Alley Cass. My old boat was called Alley Cat, so obviously my first daughter was named Alley, my second daughter's name is Cassie, so combine the two, Alley Cass. I've now got a third daughter called Emily. I told the wife we're going to build a new boat, but um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Builder by trade, but also professional fisherman, sort of fifth generation fisherman, fifth generation builder. My old man wouldn't, wouldn't let me become a fisherman until I got my trade, so the day I finished my trade I went got a job on the trawlers. It's anything to do with boats, building boats, working on boats, playing around the electronics, the motors. You can always improve on them, so yeah, just always thinking of different ideas on how to make your boat better. Yeah, I love being on the ocean. So, so I had a 7.8 previous to this boat. Went down to a fishing comp at Evans Head. The bloke came up to me and asked to buy it. He offered the right money, so I sold it to him and then went back to Dave and put an order in for this one. She was only going to be eight and a half, and then we started the process of making it, and Dave said, I've got a bit of alley here, do you want to go a bit bigger? And so yeah, she sort of grew into what we have here. So we've got the forward raking cabin, a lot of the boys um, stir me up about that, they don't like it, but to me, it maximises the space your cab, you get less glare when you're coming into the sun, just yeah, opens the cab right up, I love it, obviously with the commercial background I've got, it wouldn't go any other way, it's, to me it just makes, makes the boat. Obviously it's got a nice big cab up the front there, you sleep three blokes quite comfortably. Got a little sort of saloon bar here, more so for the family. Also if you're heading out you can um, sleep another guy in here. Then underneath the floor just where you're standing there we've got the refrigeration box. So similar setup to what we used to have on the trawlers, just a wet box. Um, two motors under here, powering two plates. Put about six inches of salt water in there, flick the switch on within you know, three or four hours it's create nice. So you know it's 480 litres I think it is creates a great slurry so as soon as you catch a fish, bleed them straight back into the box. Pull out fridge as well so that sort of slides out, put all your food and beers in that. Pretty much with a riptide you can do anything you want custom, Dave's extremely good at that. Uh, you sit down and nut out some ideas with him, like the saloon sort of area here we sort of toss and turn on how we're going to do it and what we're going to do but to me with us having the three daughters it's um, good they can sit in here, you keep an eye on them and they feel nice and safe. So every rod holder, you've got a stubby holder sitting right next to it, which is handy for putting your beers in, but also when you're picking up the shift, you can sit your sinkers in those stubby holders, so it sort of stops from banging on the side of the boat, which um, yeah, gets a pain in the ass when you've got a nice, nice boat, you don't want it getting bashed around. Uh, you've got lights underneath all the gunnels, so yeah, it's a really, really comfortable fishing boat. Back corner's ideal, you've got the Fusion stereo system marked up back there, so it's um, good if you want to change the songs and you, someone's playing around up the front here. So. Love the uh, crab hauler, it just makes life so much easier. Cooker's fantastic when you're out there early morning, pull in the first couple of fish, whack a fillet off and you're cooking them up at um, you know, six o'clock in the morning, it's, it's pretty hard to beat out here. So. Build it so you can have family in here or if you want to go do a, you know, two, three, four nights away, you can head off and, and do some serious fishing. So. Currently I'm running twin 300 Suzuki's. Um, when I put these on they didn't have the 350's otherwise we would have went the 350's. Plenty of power. Uh, we can get up to about 47, 48 knots on a flat calm day. Since then I've had any fair at the bottom so it slows it down a little bit. Probably topping out about 44 knots now. So, But plenty of power. Yeah, it's been awesome motors of Suzuki's. So this is the fourth set of Suzuki's I've had on different boats and yeah, to be honest wouldn't go anything else. I don't think I've been in a boat that performs better, to be honest. Um, with the following sea, she, yeah, she'll ride down and just straight through it. She um, doesn't broach at all. Punches into the ocean quite well. Full of fuel and water, she just sits down and nicely, when you've got that nice, sharp, sharp, short, sharp stuff, she just bashes into that quite good. My old man, yes, yeah, so he built um, a lot of timber trawlers back in the uh, 70s and 80s down north coast of New South Wales, down at Palmer's Island. Um, but yeah, they were all sort of around that 54 to 60 foot uh, timber trawlers. Uh, a lot of work that went into them. They used to yeah, fit the whole things out and yeah, some of, the, some of those boats are awesome looking pieces of machinery. So This boat, he's, he's put a bit of his um, influence in this with a little bit more flair on the, um, on the gunnels. Obviously the forward raking cabin, clear the bow out a little bit more too just to just get rid of that chop. Um, yeah, he's, he probably was a fair bit of it influence on me in, in getting into boats and building boats. Yeah, he's pretty proud of this boat. So this is my second one. Uh, if I went for a third, I'd definitely be getting a Riptide again.